welcome to my youtube channel my name is peter shakeskara favored the slim giant the smart mc or you can call me Washimpundu if you like if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel the best thing that you can do right now is to hit the red button switch on the notification bell so that every time i post a new video you will be notified that Washimpundu has posted a new video right now as i am recording this video i really feel so bad like really really bad um i'm recording this video um about the young doctor who died abigail Malenga, who died um on monday at the university teaching hospital in lusaka um i want to read the reaction of the elder brother who happens to be a doctor as well Mwansa joseph Mulenga, the elder brother to um abigail um Mulenga. um this really hurts and well this is what the brother writes he says no patient relative especially mother should go through what my mother and i went through at kawe general hospital friday into saturday morning the system failed you my baby my beautiful sister as doctor as you were still i had to plead and beg for painkillers we also had to plead for you to be seen that night on friday this is too painful abby my last memories of you are you in severe pain crying out for life i even told them that but they ignored the system failed you my baby sister i just had to express myself before you you are laid to rest two months no pay yet you worked for them diligently then today they want to give you your salary for two months my sister this is hard what do i do with the budget we made how do you traumatize a mother restraining her daughter for hours with no help like this is really sad and if the system is failing the people that are working for the system what about a common person who is not even working for the system abigail trained in ukraine for seven years she becomes a doctor comes back home that she can work and save the lives of the people in the country where she was born and came from works for two months at Kawa general hospital without getting paid she gets sick goes to the hospital and the system failed her and after she's dead she died on monday and this is when they want to pay the two months salary that they didn't pay when she was living she was alive what is really going on in zambia what is really happening in zambia why are we living or being served the way we are being served by the government of the day what is really happening Let me read some comments of how people have reacted to um, this death. And of course, after hearing that Abigail was failed by the system that she worked for. And by the brother to come out that she doesn't really, he doesn't really look forward to see somebody go through what they went through when abigail was failed by the system it's really simply tells you to say it was painful and hateful this one says kawe and kito central hospital management is very bad i lost a sister at kawe and another one at kitwe i know how the workers behave they are using the old system things have changed adapt to new changes so far uth is the best of course and that's where um abigail died from this is really sad really really sad and reading this post by the brother has made me shed tears really this one says lord we need to do better as 
country. People can be dying when they shouldn't. This is horrifying. Even though I didn't know you personally, your death has really pained me. Rest in peace. Most systems fail people sometimes. It's just God that we are still alive. Definitely. Two weeks ago, I lost my 16-year-old baby. He was taken to the hospital at 9 p.m. in pain, and he was only attended to at 15 hours. 02 a.m. he was dead, and yet there was an option for him to be taken to a private hospital, but they refused. Awe Mwandi is so depressing and annoying. Look at that. Look at that. Heartbreaking. They failed to help their own doctor. What more? Us who are not even doctors. This is Zambia. This is Zambia. Oh my God. My heartfelt condolences. A beautiful soul has gone too soon. May God give you the strength to go through this trying moment. Sad reading. May the good Lord comfort you and the entire family. Amen. Heartbreaking. That's how pathetic our healthcare system in our country is. They even failed to help their own fellow doctor. May God Almighty comfort you and the family. Dr. Abby's death is really heartbreaking. I pray for mom that God gives her the grace and strength. Losing a child is the most horrific experience any person could go through. Rest in peace, beautiful girl. Sad situation. I have heard a few similar stories about the negligence of the medical personnel, which leads to losses of life. Isn't there like some sort of union or committee where the C cases should be reported? This is so heartbreaking. Then some shameless morons somewhere have the guts to say we have scored well in the health sector where they cannot even look out for their own risking their lives and working tirelessly to save the communities. The system failed you, Doc. The system failed. So you see, the only thing that we cry for is to better the system. If it's failing its own people, how is it going to serve the people that are not in the system? Are these people trying to say they've got their favorites that they can save? The top government officials. How do you pay somebody when they are dead and you didn't pay them when they were still living and working for the system and after they die you have the guts to pay the money that you owe them for the two months that they worked for god is watching what is happening in this country and one day just one day, you're going to pay for what you're doing. You will really pay. You will pay handsomely. You'll get your reward. You'll get your reward just one day. You know, sometimes it might look like what you're doing is okay and everything is okay because you're enjoying. But the devil might be blinding you so that you don't see your downfall and what is coming in future for you. The blame is on you. Nobody has to take the blame but you, the system, that has failed this so and other people that have commented that their son, their sister died this, this, this because the system failed them. We pray for Abigail's family that God will comfort the father and the mother, the brothers and everybody that is in the family of Abigail, the young doctor that just died on Monday because the system failed Abigail. Well, we can't even question God because God knows everything that we go through. He knows best and we can't question him for what has happened. 
My name is Peter Shakespeare Favorite, the Slim Giant, the Smart MC, or you can call me Washimpun if you like. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, the best thing that you can do right now is to hit the red button, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Washimpun has posted a new video. Rest in peace, Dr. Abigail Mulenga. Rest in glory. Thank you.